Hey everybody, I am making another sump for my system. This is my fifth sump that I have built um, with your basic standard fish tank and the Corian slash acrylic baffles. I am changing my design a little bit for my tank. I'm going to be using Grape Calerpa in my refugium and since I don't have uh, any type of fish that will eat it if it gets through I wanted to design it a little bit better so that it would catch any pieces of macroalgae that go into my system it's gonna be easy to take out if it does get through just use a turkey baster and suck it out but uh, this system is a little bit better than the one I have for what I'm gonna be doing so Everything came out real good. I used the standard GE silicone to mount everything. The, um, the silicone works really well with the acrylic and the glass when they match together. Just it, it's, it's really nice and I never had any problems with it coming apart. It's really strong. Um, so pre-filled everything to test the, the waters uh, good to go, no leaks. Uh, here you can see I, I like to make a nice straight line measure so that the walls are nice and level and straight. That's my little chamber for my filter media. I don't know if I'll be putting anything in there besides my matrix. There's the little catch net for any type of macroalgae that's going to be getting through. I made it so that's removable so I can clean it once in a while. The chamber for my um, media is a little bit smaller as well this time. I didn't need it to be so big since I'm running a, a reactor now. The only thing I have in my reactor is the carbon. So here it is with water filled on either side. Good to go. And then I'm going to start running uh, my tests now. Alright, so here it is filled with water. We're down in my little workstation. This is my little man dungeon. Um, so the first chamber holds five gallons, that's going to be where my skimmer and my filter socks and uh, sump socks are. This is going to be the refugium, this holds seven gallons, and the return section holds about four and a half, a little over four and a half, maybe 4.7 gallons. Um, so we're looking at, let's see, it's, it's about 17 gallons in a 30 gallon tank um, one of my new things on this one is is just like for Roscoe's Reef I put this uh, blow through port so that I get more of a central flow through the refugium and then I don't have any tangs in my tank so in case some of the macroalgae gets through um, I don't feel like cleaning that up so I put this little you know mesh thing here that I got from Michaels it's uh, you know it's all plastic and I'm a simple guy so I just you know drilled out the baffles put zip ties you know I put one on each corner here and then uh, three across the bottom so so that it makes it you know there's no gaps there's nothing getting through here you know um, and it's easy enough where I just cut the zip ties you know once a month every two weeks whatever and I can take this out and I have like three or four more that I got out of the same piece so I can either just in, you know swap them real quick and then soak these in some vinegar or I can just clean this one real quick throw it right back in um, this chamber here I made a little bit smaller this is going to be for uh, my matrix um, I might actually just put my matrix in a reactor because now that I switched to the BRS uh, RX 0.8 ROX 0.8 carbon now I have a lot more room so um, I have an extra reactor just chilling so I might just do that might switch it up so that's it for the sump I have many of other projects going on right now um, so here this is my mixing station uh, in case anybody hasn't seen it before this is where I make my water um, I have buckets down here of reef crystals but those are actually filled with uh, Red Sea Coral Pro Salt I just picked up another bag um, from a store 
their 200 gallon um, bag of salt is $49.99, which is crazy cheap. So picked up a couple bags of that. So I got about like 500 gallons worth of salt for backup. Um, all my extra ATI bulbs. There's my LEDs. If anybody wants them, come and get them. Um, always have a heater on standby. Always have zip ties on standby, right? I love the mag float. I love these blades. They clean the tank like crazy. Here's my my um, carbon. That's full up. Here's uh, this 15 months worth of Fosgard saved up. I got some Pyrogen in there. I still got all this other stuff that I gotta try out and use. There's all my clean sump socks. Uh, another project is I just built another canopy for PR Fish Girl. This is hers. Um, she's gonna be trying out the uh, the same light fixture that I got. Um, oh, and by the way, real quick, here's the new door for my canopy because everybody knows that I have dog hair, one dog hair on it. Well, that's all it takes for me to say now. Time for a new one. So, did the first stage of painting here, and then I got to do the rest of it this weekend. Um, here's the light fixtures that I got off of eBay. These are the same ones that Title Gardens is using. You know, the four bulb T5. The next video will be of me rewiring that to making it a two channel. Um, she's going to be running, I think, four bulbs at first for like a month, and then. If she doesn't like what she sees, then she's going to change it to a uh, retro. We're going to have two T5 bulbs on it, and then we're going to put her LEDs in the middle. So, here's the sump. This is my latest. See, it's got some pretty good water flow. Actually, this is my backup pump in case my uh, return ever goes bad upstairs. I was using this for when I do water changes, but it's a pretty quiet pump. And, um, you know, an emergency, always have a backup return pump. You got to have it, you know, overnight. If you don't have a return pipe, a return pump, you know, you could lose your system. You know, your, your macroalgae could die. Your, you know, all your stuff could just go downhill fast. So one of the key things I think is, is always have a spare heater on hand and a spare return pump. Um, obviously it'd be nice if you could get a spare source of power you know a generator whatever um but you know that's probably not on most people's budget so you could get a battery powered um air stone you know battery powered air pump and then you know you could always fill you know throw some uh uh sponge filters in your sump maybe that would help it overnight or something till the power comes back on but so yeah this is it and oh and then here's the the plate for my skimmer stand um, I don't know what the height's going to be on it yet. I was going to make that my first adjustable one and um, see if anybody would want any of that stuff. So, you know, I got my DI resin and my carbon blocks and I'm going to be changing out pretty soon. But, um, all right, that's it for the, uh, the new sump. Again, this is a 30-gallon deep blue tank. And uh hope you guys like it. I think it's going to be... Uh, pretty nice in my system. The whole thing cost me $58 for a 30 gallon sump with, you know, media basket chamber, then this little guard here, bubble trap, blow through, you know, seven gallons of refugium. That's pretty good size for a 75 gallon tank. I just got some grape calerpa from uh, Scott. So, all right. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.